I've recently been taking loads of photographs of things out in the streets in order to photo scan them and make up like assets and things. So I'm going to show you the process of that. Now this is Agisoft MetaShape, used to be called PhotoScan, and it does cost a little bit of money, but I think you can get a free trial of it um, if you go to Agisoft Downloads. Pretty sure there's a trial of this, 30 day trial. Um, only the export and save functions are blocked uh, or test info function with 30 day trial. So you, you can get used to it after you've uh, you know exported some things. I'm going to show you that process. So I've taken a bunch of photos and I'm just going to show you the kind of photographs that I take. Let's see. So you can use your phone. Uh, like the camera on your phone if it's good enough I recommend at least 20 megapixel type photos or you can use um, you know a proper camera I've got a little uh, handy telescopic camera that I use uh, so here's a bunch of photos that I take I've taken and this one was today now I use a tripod in order to get the best quality um, that way like there's no there's no shakiness or anything here and I've not added any sort of post-processing or anything like that. I try to just keep this, the camera settings the same, like keep the focus the same and all I'm doing is moving the tripod around and re-aiming it. So there's a bunch of photos that I've taken of this. I kind of just want uh, to extract from this, uh, this little part here and also this kind of broken area with the graffiti and things on it. Uh, I mean that looks pretty cool and the rest I'll probably just you know patch up or whatever but I really like this this whole panel and maybe even the full wall I'll see what comes out in the scan so let's go for that one take a whole bunch of other ones as well like this pipe um, I kind of wrapped up this tape a little bit so it wasn't flailing in the wind it was quite windy today when I took these <clears throat> But I've just taken several photos all the way around. Now there's certain areas that the camera won't be able to see, like underside, uh, the underside here, and things like that. I'll just need to improvise. Uh, I also always take a picture of the sky, just so that it acts as a break between photographs, and also I can sample this color and uh, remove it, like here, that's where it's shiny. If I remove that color um, from that area, then I'll know that um, is the base color of it so let's go for these first so I'm just going to basically import these frames so if you go to workflow add photos and let's just go back to here okay and I'm going to set everything at the lowest settings so that we get it really quickly I may pause the video every now and again okay so once you've added the photos you'll see that they're all in here you can have a look at them. Tells you the size, so that's good resolution there, not too high. And I'm going to do a line photos, and I'll just leave it as default. As I say, I may pause the video. Okay, so that didn't take long, and you see it's come up with this point cloud. Now this point cloud is based on the number of photos that you've taken, uh, how accurate it's got, you know, uh, and the information is between each uh, photograph. So if you've got a, a shaky, a shaky hand or anything, it's going to, it's not going to find as many points. So I've used a tripod and it really helps. Now you can see here, this is the the point cloud that it's shown you and there's no dense point cloud yet so that's what you have to do next now this workflow gives you everything you need so initially I did align photos and now I want to do build dense cloud now this does take a little bit longer and I'm going to set it on just one above low I'm going to set it on medium and again I'll pause the video uh, you can also change like these kind of things as well I'll, I'll put this on moderate and this may take a while. I'll let you know how long it's actually taken. Um, and uh, let's go for it. All right, so that step didn't take too long. It took roughly maybe 10, 10 minutes or something. Let me just see if it shows. Uh, if 
finished processing 874 seconds. What's that then? 10 plus 200. Yeah, it's about 13, say 15 minutes. Okay, so dense cloud is now this one. It's the dense cloud. And um, sometimes you can see it in color, but maybe I've not calculated the point colors. But that's looking pretty nice, you know, for a dense cloud. You can see all these little kind of details, and it's quite, uh, it's not noisy until you get to the edges where there's less information. So all the good information is in the right place. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the next step, which is build mesh. Uh, from the dense cloud. Now I could do a height field, but I'm going to go for arbitrary 3D because it does take longer, but it looks nicer. Um, height field only if it's you know going to be like a height map, and it takes like a fraction of the time. But I'm going to go arbitrary 3D. I'm going to try low, and just leave what, leave everything as it is. Let's go for that. Okay, that only took about three minutes, uh, so let's check that out. And if you go to this one and do uh, model solid, so you see you've got this solid model now, and that's the actual resolution of it. So it's pretty low res, but when uh, I calculate the texture, it looks much nicer. Now I'm going to go for a bit of a higher detail model here because that's a bit too low. So I'll go to build mesh again. <clears throat> I'm going to put this on high and uh, yeah arbitrary 3d again this will take a bit longer <clears throat> okay that only took a little bit longer um so i'm quite surprised at that but we've got much more detail in this mesh now now if i wanted i could go back a step and build an even denser dense clouds so and go ultra high and get even more detail and uh, just it does eat a lot of resources if you go ultra high. Uh, if I go high, it means when I do build the mesh and get even more detail. So I'll try high and see how long this takes. So I'll pause the video. Okay, so I've rebuilt the dense cloud and rebuilt the mesh. And we've got a nice higher detailed mesh now. So you can check that out. And I guess now we can go ahead and build the texture. And I'd like to set this to 8192 and just let it do its thing. Okay, diffuse map. You can also do an occlusion map if you want. Um, generic mapping. And let's go for it. All right, so I've added the texture. And to see it, I just have to change this to model textured. So it's got the detail from this. And then it's adding the texture over the top of it. And as you can see, it's a pretty high quality looking mesh with texture. And holds the detail quite nicely. So I'm just going to change that back to uh, solid. You can see where the mesh changes here. And then back to textured. Now, that's quite nice like that. Uh, you might want to you know, boost the normal map by, you know, extracting it from the texture itself once it's applied so i'll give that a try but what will happen then is like all this graffiti is also going to change the normal map whereas this is actually just flat to the wall so you have to be careful with things like that but we can definitely mask out areas where there's this going to change um if we really need it so i'm going to export this out bring in zbrush uh see what i can do to clean it up uh trim it off a bit maybe make a decal up of this part and yeah put it in my game and see how it looks so i'll catch you later thanks for watching bye